Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a couple of Android app reviews, notably in the form of MP3 players for Android. So now that uh, Google Play Music is officially dead and mostly unusable, there's random reports of people still being able to access their library, but I think they feel like, or it feels like intermittent cases where it hasn't rolled out to everybody. But in any case, for the most part, Google Play Music is no longer accessible, so um, I did share a way of using Google Takeout to back up your music library and you can take it elsewhere. So hopefully you've done that already. Um, so assuming you've done that backup or you're new coming to Android and you have your MP3 library, I wanted to share two MP3 playing apps that you can use to play your local music library. So this of course assumes that you're storing your music on your phone like I currently am or that I'm now having to do. Um, so that I can play music and still have all the track information and all of that show up. So the first app that I'm going to share is a basic um, app that is for music and um, videos. And that's the popular client that, was, that came over from the desktop called VLC Player. So the idea behind this player is that you can or it's compatible with most media formats whether it's video or audio and it should just work so uh, when you first launch the app um, it'll guide you through the uh, setup process for the theme the folders to scan and all of that but you can also always go into your um, internal memory and select specific folders that you might want to um, scan. So for example, I have ringtones and alarms and all of that set up, so I don't want those to show up in my music library. So I just want um, videos that I take, so whether I recorded them or someone sent them to me. Um, well, actually, I didn't even include WhatsApp, but if I want uh, WhatsApp in there as well, then like just like I did, so now my VLC will scan my for videos and music in the folders I um, uh, select and um, allow me to play them. Um, the app has other various modes or settings to check out. So this is mostly on the video side for playing in the background or not, um, hardware or acceleration, playback history and that sort of stuff, subtitles and all of that. But beyond that, that's really the bulk of it. Um, you don't really have many other settings and options to play around with. You can't edit um, tag information or anything like that. So um, that's kind of the downside, but if your album inform or information or track information is already there, then um, you can view that and it'll show up accordingly. So track information will show in order, album art will show up and all of that. If there's no album art, it won't show up. So things like that to note. Um, but overall, it generally just works. So that's really all there is for that. But I wanted to share that because it's free um, in the App Store, ad-free, of course, and easy to set up and get going. Um, so beyond that, um, I want to share another app that's also more easier to use or relatively easy to use and ad-free, but has the extra benefit of allowing you to edit your track information as you go but does not have a me um, video player and that's the app called Musical Lay. Um, it's available in Android for free as I mentioned and it's M-U-S-I-C-O-L-E-T so when you um, set it up you can you'll see similar tabs to VLC but a few more options so you can see things like favorite app, favorite tracks recently added recently played most played um, you can swipe across to view your tracks by artist, album artist, composers, by folders on your devices, by album, and all of that. So it's more of a full-fledged me music player than just a uh, media player like VLC. Um, and editing uh, track information is sim as simple as going into the album, for example, um, touching the settings, or sorry, um, touching the three dots, and um selecting edit tags so it'll give you um a warning if you're trying to edit in bulk and then once you go into there um, you can change your um cover art up here if you want to go in and change it there if you want to change the track album information artists on all of that so if you see something that you don't think is right or you need to adjust you can do that 
Um, you can also do it on a track by track basis. So um, let's say I want to change this particular track. You'll still touch those three dots and edit tags and you can change the album art, track title and all of that. So um, that is also available for you. So that's really all there is for that. And now the reason I like these two particular apps is because that they're free and they don't have any ads and they're relatively easy to use. Um, Musical Leg does come with uh, an audio visualizer setting. So if you go into your settings, um, you can change things like your headphones settings and things like that. Um, your audio fo focus, gapless payback, fading in and out, your decoder, setting the equalizer and all of that. I don't really use anything like any of those things. So there's not really much to say there, but the option is there if you want to use it. Um, but it's relatively easy to use and I find that it's it has one of the easier settings menu compared to most other media players that I've played around with. So um, overall, that's really all there is for this review. I wanted to share that and provide my feedback and input on it so you guys can play it out and play with it and uh, see how it goes from there. So that's all there is for this review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is PatelN01 for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.